Hi, welcome. Simon here. Hope you're doing well. This is an HP O-in-1 24-CB0010. I know it's kind of hard to see, but that is the um, the model of this O-in-1 HP. So what I'm going to do is to do a teardown on this um, computer here. And in this teardown process, I'll explain how to add additional RAM or maybe change out the hard drive, things like that. Some of basic things that you can do um, on the computer. All right, so let's go ahead and take it apart. This plastic cover here in the front is just kind of like a snap onto, so there's no screw or anything that remove it. All you have to do is just kind of uh, grab the plastic cover here and kind of peel it off until the clipper clicks off and the whole thing will just come right off. At this point here, all I need is just a Phillips screwdriver. Let's remove some of the screws here. There's a one, two, three, four screws. And let's try to work on the screws here on the very far left. And a screw here on a very far right. Pay attention to the screw. The far left and far right are much longer compared to the four screws right here. The next step is to go ahead and disconnect the uh, LCD connector. So for this connector here, all I have to do is just lift it straight up. And I'm going to flip open that little clipper, see if I can remove the uh, LCD screen at this point. Okay, what I'm doing right now is just go underneath the screen. I wonder if anything else is holding down the... Uh, oh, in fact, I just missed a couple of the screws. My apologies, I do miss a couple of the screws here. There's one right in the middle, which is this arrow pointing down. I try not to lean forward where I cover up the lens on the camera. So I did not see the tiny little screw here, the both of them, right in the center. My apology on that part. And again, I remove, um, once more, I remove the very far right. Okay. And then there are two more here. And then the very far left. And there are four at the bottom. So eight total screws you need to remove. Okay, at this point, I'm still holding down to the screen. A 
and when you flip it up all you have to do is just tilt it to that away from your body while you're still holding down the screen because there are a couple more wires are still connected to that so here comes the um, actually we do not have to disconnect this here on the bottom right so let me close that thing back up and let me close the uh, screen connector here as well when I mean the LCD I'm talking about this one here I'm gonna close it in a second disconnect the cable all I have to do is just sim simply pull it straight up here there's this little white clipper the two the white clipper has to come come I mean like lift it up to disconnect it and the cable will just pop right out so this little secure pin is to holding down the uh, flex cable lift it up and then the cable just come right off and right after that the entire screen will just be able to remove okay at this point here let me reconnect back this little LCD connector push it back in okay um, here you can pretty much see that the RAM this is the uh, DDR4 RAM okay PC4 is DDR4 there are two RAM slot you can insert 8 and 8 upgrade to 16 uh, right now it's running 8 gigabytes so you can add additional 8 here there's a CMOS battery and this is the hard drive M.2 SSD you got a Phillips screwdriver remove that and then slide it away at 45 degree angle you might find it a little bit hard to remove because this is the thermal pad and this pad here is kind of uh, acting like a sticky stuff and stick onto the M.2 so when you remove it you might have a little bit a uh, hard time to remove just have to put a, a little pressure and that thing will just come right off and again if you wanted to recover the data get one of these USB M.2 adapter you can uh, plug it into a secondary computer okay and it acts like a USB drive to see all the information to recover the data if you're trying to fix a computer all right so there are two things that we talk about upgrading it would be your M.2 drive as well as the RAM all right so that is all done and uh, pretty much this is the motherboard it's a very straightforward um, the CPU fan is right there this CPU fan here and the CPU heatsink it's a very straightforward there's no additional stuff you can do with it uh, besides changing out the M.2 or upgrading the RAM there's pretty much just a screen and a tiny little motherboard and that is the motherboard um, model if you're thinking to get a motherboard replacement uh, that would be the HP DAN18MB76A0 alright hope this video is helpful and let me show you some of the uh, the inside of this all-in-one computer and um, if you have any question please comment down below and if you find this video is helpful please smash the like button if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe what I wanted to mention is that if you're not sure where to buy the RAM or where to buy the M.2 SSD drive please go ahead and check the link down description below I'll direct you to either Amazon or eBay where you can find the replacement part the replacement hard drive um, or the tools that you need for this upgrade okay and again um, if you do find this video is is helpful and you want to show appreciation to support my work and to support my channel I really appreciate you for smashing the uh, the like button for sure as well as you can click on YouTube super thanks which allows you to share your gratitude to support the work I do and the channel thanks again for watching until next time take care and bye now